In the last Descript video, I showed you how to bring in a video file that you've recorded, get it into Descript, shorten up those word gaps, get rid of silences, and then go through and sort of cut out all the parts that you don't want. In this video, I wanna show you how you can use Descript's AI tools to edit for clarity and remove retakes. I don't know about you and your videos, but I will often start to say something and my brain will just take a nap or it won't connect to my mouth. I end up trying four or five, 10 times to get out what I'm trying to say in a way that makes sense. So when it's time to edit, I need to go back and get rid of those first nine attempts and leave just the good one. And when it comes to clarity, sometimes when I'm recording, I'll try and explain something and I use a lot of extra words that really aren't necessary, or I'll say things while I'm recording that popped into my brain and made perfect sense and seemed important, but then I realized, no, it wasn't. And I need to get rid of that stuff. All right, we're in Descript on the web and I'm inside my project here, which has a terribly unuseful name. I'll go ahead and change that. I just click in this title here. I typed in my new title. And as soon as I typed in this new title at the top of the composition, it also changed my project name to what I put here as my composition title. Now this video, I have not taken care of these word gaps yet. I haven't cut these silences out. So let's go ahead and do that first. And we will do it the fast way, understanding that there may be some things that we have to fix along the way. So I'll come over here on the right underneath of the underlord. And if these things aren't shown for you, just come to the far right up at the top and click on underlord. And that'll get you this panel that we need to work with. And I'm gonna go to shorten word gaps. I'm gonna say gaps that are more than 0.5 seconds, shorten those to 0.5 seconds. So anything's bigger than a half a second, I wanna trim it down to a half a second. It says there are 196 of those in this 41 minute video. Normally I go through each one individually and look at where it's cutting, what it's cutting, and make sure it's not chopping off parts of words because this is all based on the AI transcript and AI transcripts are not perfect. Anyway, let's go ahead and shorten all. And right away, our video is a lot easier to work with. We've taken our 41 minute video and just by taking out all those extra silences and shortening up those word gaps, we are now down to 22 minutes of video rather than 41. Well, that seems like a, a lot easier to deal with. So we're off to the right start here. Now our Underlord panel disappeared. So let's just click Underlord again to expose that. We'll come down and click on Remove Retakes and we'll click Submit. And now there's a few different ways that you can handle this. You can work through it edit by edit down this right side. I'll zoom in that a little bit. And in this section, it's found where I said, I've gone to Descript.com, I signed in, I signed in. And it's saying, let's take out that first I signed in. We can either accept that edit or reject it and leave it alone. We'll accept that, makes sense. I can look at the next one. It's not as clear what in the world I was trying to say here. It looks like it cut out several times of me saying, I have my recording, I have my recording. And then maybe I switched up the line I was gonna say to if I wanted to record. I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna need to see that in greater context before I can accept or reject it. And it looks like these next couple of suggested edits are all really part of that same spot in the video. I remember I was all kinds of tongue tied and couldn't figure out how to say what I was trying to say. So I can keep working down through these one at a time, seeing what it changed, but I'd rather see sort of the whole thing in context. So to do that, I'm gonna come down here to the bottom and I'm gonna click where it says, copy edits to new composition. Now, if I was feeling pretty lucky, I can also click this remove ignored text from script. So it'll just apply all these edits and we're off, but I don't trust AI that much. You can also discard all edits, say, no, forget this, or just done after you've done the parts you want and you don't wanna do it anymore. I'm gonna do copy edits to new composition. You'll notice my new composition up here now has a name that is AI edits from the file name. So this one that I'm looking at is with all those edits applied. Everything that the AI found that was a retake that should be cut out is now cut out in this composition. If I hit this drop down, go back to my original composition, none of those edits are in here. I've got the where I started from so that if it just completely hosed everything and I don't even want to use it, I'm fine. I can come back here and use this version. So I'm going to switch back over to this other composition because this is the way that I would work through it if I'm using AI retake cutter outer. So now I can see in the context of the entire script, what the AI thought was retakes that should come out. Here's the I signed in that we cut out. That makes perfect sense. All right, so here I see this is a new sentence. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click in there 
and then hit return. So I know I've got a new sentence going on here and I can tell that what it's recommending to cut out definitely needs to be cut out. I think there might even be a little more that needs to go. Let's see here. I'm just going to cut that out. It didn't recognize that as the same thing as what's being said down here because I changed up the wording. Down here I see that I really simplified what I said. I didn't get so wordy and I like that better. So now I can come back and take out all of this stuff. When you select some words, you'll get this little menu pop up and you can choose there either this strike through, which makes it ignored text, or instead of doing that, I can just hit the delete button and make it all go away, which is what I want to do because I know for sure I don't want any of that. I can even delete this. I'm agreeing with what it cut out here. I don't have to delete these things as I'm going through. I'm just doing it for myself to mark that I've already looked at that edit. I'm good with it. It's gone. And here's a case where I do want to change up the edit. So this spot starts off with, now we can name our project and if we don't name it, and then what I said was it'll just inherit the name. Now we can name our project, but we don't necessarily have to do that since we're importing a video to be used in this project. It'll just inherit the name in that video, which we can always change later. So it took the first part of my first take and the last part of my last take. And I don't really want to do that. I think the flow works out better when I stick to things that were said close together. So I'm going to grab this ignored text and the text that it left in. I'm just going to delete all that. Now I'm going to select all this text that is marked as ignored that has the strike through and you see the strike through is enabled on the menu that pops up. I'll just click that and it brings it back to life for me. I agree with that edit. We'll go ahead and clear it out. Here's a really clear retake that it got rid of. I said where you just start writing the script or you just start writing the script and assign the AI speaker. So it took off my, you know, false start there. Great. Let's commit to that. I love it. I don't want to see it in there anymore. There's another good retake edit. I like it. I'm not going to keep you here going through all these, but I definitely would not leave all this up to the AI. I would look at the changes that it made, make sure they make sense, make adjustments as you see fit, and I think you'll have a better output. That's how we get rid of retakes. Now, what if we want to edit for clarity? Well, let's switch back over to our original composition, the one that does not have these retakes edited out. Come over under Underlord for this edit for clarity. Again, if you don't see it, just click the Underlord button, edit for clarity. And this one will remove filler words, digressions, blather, all the obvious cuts. And we can specify how heavy we want this thing to do its editing. We can switch it down to low for a little bit, or we can come up to heavy if we wanted to really cut this thing down and make it concise. There's another feature here, use AI speech. And if we do that, that's gonna tell the AI that it's okay if it finds a little spot that it can reword to make it make more sense and make it clearer. It's okay to go ahead and use our voice and do that. So what the heck, we'll turn that on and give it a shot. We have to tell it whose voice we wanna use. It's already picked Bob because I said when I imported this and did the transcript that Bob is the speaker. We'll click submit. And if you see these words that are sort of uh, pulsating on my screen, I don't know what you would call that. These are places where it is replacing the audio where it's generating new speech to go in place because we checked that little box that said it was okay to generate new words in short spots. That's what it's doing. And it has quite a few of those to work through. Something else to notice is that when we select edit for clarity, it is also eliminating retakes and cutting those out for us. So edit for clarity includes not only tightening things up, but it also includes that retake removal. Any of these words that have little dots under them, that means that that audio was generated rather than imported and part of our original script. So let's see what this looks and sounds like. I'll make that a little bit bigger there. And the page shows all my projects with a menu on the left. We want to create a new project. So I'll click the button that says new project. It asks if I want a video project, an audio project, or if I want to do some recording. Since I have the video ready, I just need to edit it. I have my video recorded already, so I don't need to use the recording feature in the script. I'm actually impressed with the way that turned out. Now the video of me talking is really small on this video, so it's hard to tell if that lined up and how that did. But as far as the audio goes, it sounded pretty decent. Now you probably noticed the retake that it didn't do so well with that we fixed when we just tried the retake tool by itself, but that's not a problem. And you normally wouldn't have to do that twice. The only reason we're having to do that again is because I showed you once how to do remove retakes all by itself. And now with edit clarity, I just wanted to start with the original script again and it takes care of the retakes as well, but it has this one little boo-boo, the same boo-boo that we didn't really like in the remove retakes example. Here, let's take a look at this section. Once you've got 
all your dialogue right without extra spaces or retakes, well, then you can add all the magic and other things. But when it's in this state with a bunch of silences and retakes and things that need to be cut out, it's hard for me to even look at it. I think the video is coming out okay with these little changes in place. There is a little bit of choppiness there. So to work on that, I'm going to click back up here where we're before some of the places where it replaced audio. Let's go ahead and show the timeline. Okay, let's move to right about here and I'm going to click anywhere on the timeline. Just going to drop the playhead and then I'm going to hit control on my keyboard and the vertical mouse wheel to zoom in a little bit so we can see things a little bit better. And then I'll use shift on my keyboard and the vertical scroll wheel to move things into view. Let's get acquainted with what we've got going on here, which is our script is at the bottom of the timeline. And this track right above it is where it needed to create something where it did a conversion. So if we click right here, we can see that's the or let's come back. We'll just play through that little bit your spaces or retakes well, then you can add all the magic and other things but when it's in this state with a bunch of silences and re there we go there's something that didn't sound right let me come back so it says silences and retakes and i think what i had in there was a bunch of retakes let me look at the script yeah and a bunch of retakes so for clarity it said and retakes but those two words are just not going together well so the problem is the ai didn't find where the start of the word retakes was accurately if I click here to where, where it thinks the word started, to retake, that's not it. The real start of the word retakes is right about there. Now to realign this word on my timeline with the waveform, I can come up here, get close to where the word retakes is, the left edge of it. I'm going to hold down on control until I get that like left bracket with arrows. And then I'm just going to click and drag and that will tell it, okay, retake starts right there. Now it thinks this is nothing, but that's okay. If I'm going to get rid of bunch of anyway, if I want to see what's under there, I don't need the control key. I can just hover over the left side of this clip until I get that left bracket, click and drag. And that is exposing the timeline that's underneath. In fact, you'll see I'll end up with duplication here by of silences and silences and a bunch yeah i don't need any of that stuff the point i want to show you is that if i wanted to realign and had this bunch of stretched out so that bunch of was over top this whole part of the waveform where there's talking that is how i would do it now it's being a little finicky i think because the word of is so small in there perhaps let's see yeah I, okay now i can grab it and drag that out and a bunch of retail and with just a little bit more if i want to you know make that perfect it's really i'm not even saying bunch of i'm saying bunch of bunch of but i can move that over line that up there we go now the nothing is over top of the nothing bunch of retakes but i don't want any of that anyway so i'm just going to come back here on the script layer all the way at the bottom click and drag this over to where retakes actually start so now instead of that skipping where it's you know in a bunch of retakes it should be better silences retakes i think we're cutting off and a little bit too soon silences and retakes in my opinion sometimes it just doesn't flow well yeah i don't need to have me saying bunch of in there but when i cut out the bunch of i just don't like the way it's coming together i'm either going to have the uh or i'm going to have it be a little bit too choppy so i'm going to bring this back to right about there let's see what it does silences and a bunch of retakes that sounds more natural it may not be concise or beautiful but i'd rather go for natural so that's the way i'm going to have that in there it's in this state with a bunch of silence it's in this state with a bunch of si i am really impressed that it added this like here but when it's in this state it added with a bunch of silences. It generated this audio. It's saying convert to audio. It is audio, but it's saying convert to audio because this is AI generated. It's a generation. It's not like audio we imported or recorded. But listening and looking at the video, I'm just focusing on how it did with this creation of with a. But when it's in this state with a bunch of, I want to see what was originally there. So in this state, what did I have there originally? Oh, I said where it has a, and it changed it to with a, from where it has a to with a. That's incredibly impressive. Now let's make our script a little bit bigger and scroll back up through here. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and discard all edits. I did not copy this to a new composition, which is something that I definitely prefer to do. When I'm using these AI editing features, I 
definitely prefer to go ahead and leave my original as it was and just make me a new composition with all your suggestions and I'll work through it. So let me go ahead and discard all the edits from here. That brings us back great. We're back to our 22 minute video because if you don't want to use the AI speech, we'll turn that back off and we will click submit. I'm still going to leave it on the heavy edit for clarity. And I'm going to come down and say copy edits to new composition like I should have the last time. Excellent. Here we go. And we've gotten from 22 minutes down to 15 minutes. So in this case, we're doing edit for clarity, but we're not letting it go ahead and change words and generate new speech on our behalf. So what did it do? Well, it went through and it removed the retakes that it found. Again, that's going to require some manual tweaking and adjusting. You're going to have to fix things up because AI is not perfect. But in addition to the retakes, it also goes through and takes out extra words, words that it thinks you just don't even need in there. Like here, it took out that was in front of audio only. And that's when I'd click audio project. Now, maybe I want to put those words back. It's not a problem. I can just select them, it'll pop up with this menu and I hit this strike through and they're back. It did cut out what it identified as retakes and it also cut out things that it thought were just unnecessary to convey the point. So I'm not going to keep you with me as I work through each one of these proposed edits and figure out which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm going to put back the way they were. I think you get the idea. Remove retakes is what you use to have it strike through everything that it thinks is a retake. Sometimes though it will cut out the end of the first take and the beginning of the last take and you'll end up with the first few words from your first take and the last few words from your last take. You probably don't want to leave it that way. If you're like me and you get a little tongue tied and you start going in different directions and thinking up different ways to say things, it might not be able to figure out that you're trying to say the same thing. So definitely manual intervention is required. But if nothing else, this can draw your attention to what doesn't seem right. Now the edit for clarity, we had a couple of options there when we turn turned on the AI speech enabled toggle daily. We gave it the authority to go ahead and insert and make up words where they didn't exist if that's what was necessary to blend the other parts of the script together and still make it clear and concise. But we had a pretty good result it looks like when we used edit for clarity and turned that toggle off. The only thing it couldn't do then is make up words for us and use our AI voice, but it was still able to remove retakes and cut out words that it found that just were unnecessary, including any um and alls and whatnot, and it probably would have just cut out and whatnot if I ran this through there. Hey, I appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope you found this video helpful, and I sure hope you'll come see me in the next one.